that's it. The last of the guineas. I guess she didn't go in the coop at night and the boys didn't see that. And she was out and got got. Interesting though. I have no idea what got her because she's fully intact. So it could quite possibly be a health issue on her own part and maybe not a predator. And she's very cold. So it didn't happen recently. It would have been early in the night. It didn't have it, it wasn't like it happened and then I walked out and some predator ran away. Am I sad about that? Well, I never get excited when a predator, in this case the competition, beats me to it. You know what I'm saying? But we have gotten those four guineas to free range and get ticks. As you know, they didn't free range. They want to incorporate with the chick chickens. But the major thing I don't like about that, well, not only they're not picking ticks, but they pick on the chickens. So I think I've learned my lesson there. I couldn't train them to free range. They wouldn't go back to their other coop. They just wanted to be in with the chickens. Hey, are you guys all right in there? <laughs> Looks like everybody's good in there. Got the hose clamps. Maybe I can get it before that hose cools off. Let's see if it's still. Oh, it fell in the water. Yeah, that's gonna cool it off. Let's just try. Oh, yeah. Hard as it ever was. Well, I got a little work out there. I forgot to put the ring on it. Come on now. There we go. That's nice. I'm still not getting consistent drainage after my Everflow waterer. So I'm going to attach that end to the exit down into the creek so that I can fill this hose up with water and fill up the Everflow with waterer and then release that and hopefully get the siphon effect. That'll help me in two ways. One way is that hopefully that hose will start drawing and pulling water through. Another way is that it'll give me a faster flow, which will make it even more freeze proof. I mean, the faster I keep going through it, the less likely it is to freeze. It froze last night and I knew it was gonna freeze. So I pulled the line out of the pond because I knew I was gonna be working this and I didn't want any of the water to freeze inside of there, so I pulled the pond out. But I, so I've got to go stick my hand in there, tie that end down into the pond. The problem is, it's about 30 degrees out here. And my hand is already very bright red, very cold. And I'm going to have to take my coat off too so that I can roll up my sleeves. Makes it even colder out here. This is what we got right here, guys. There's a there's a uh, post I tie it to. Right here. Can you see that? See that post? Ow! Whoa! I'm not sh Whoa! Oh, they're aching. I want to shake them, but it, then that hurts. Before, I had to take the end that was in the pond, bring it back down to the barn, fill this hose up with water, that's where the spigot was at the barn, take that end of the hose back up to the pond, 
And then because there's water in this line, when we would open this up, it would draw and it would continually draw from the pond. But a viewer just like you had a better idea, I think. Oh, where are you going? Get, get up here, get up here. Okay, a viewer just like you said, get a hose and push the water up the hill. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna screw this in. What I'm gonna do, get way back here with it, put it down like this, and I'm gonna twist it counterclockwise. I'm gonna twist it counterclockwise before, there you go, look. I think this is gonna work. And then, it'll, it'll be happy to untwist on there, theoretically. See? Now it's untwisting and hopefully screwing on. There it goes. It's getting in there. We've come back up to the pond to see if water's making it through. Look. Look at that. Look, we've pushed water through. Yes! That means the line wasn't frozen anywhere. And we've got water through. Now all we gotta do is take that hose off and it should siphon water through. I turned off our line here so that we can unattach our hose without getting sprayed. And plus, we gotta fill up our downspout now. Okay, I pulled this hose off the hose that's going up to the pond and put it on this hose that's going down to the creek. So let's fill that up now. Okay, good. Everything's good. Looks like it's going through. Let's just look and see and make sure water came through this hose. Whoa, it did and it's not frozen. So, I bleep. It's coming through strong. Not a lot of dirt in that. So I wonder if some of the dirt came through the pipe and clogged it up. Because it was just trickling. This pipe was probably just clogged up. Look at that. Woo! Okay, it's working, so let's fill it up. Shutting that off. Guys, I could teach this by figuring all this out and then do a textbook instructional video. This is how you do this and that. But I'm gonna take you along and you can learn right there with me. Okay, what do we do? We gotta get that off. Now let's fill it up with this. That should be flowing through just fine. That's from the pond. You see it's bringing that water in. We're gonna get it up above this level. Fill this trough up. So it's up above this exit hole, and then we're gonna go open up the exit line. I should get a filter here, guys. I think a lot of dirt has, must have gotten through there and clogged it up over time. That explains why it was drawing just fine from over there when we were even lower, it even had less draw. We have even more downhill this time, and it drawed worse this time than when we had it over there. So that explains, it's gotten clogged up over time. So maybe for a little bit of maintenance, well, a little bit of prevention, I could put a screen on that, and a little bit of maintenance is run a hose through this every once in a while. But might not need that if this works, because I can have full on speed all the time. There we go. Let's go see if it's continually siphoning it out of our tub. Whoa, yeah, that's pulling, woo! That scared me, I did not expect, expect such a pull. Okay, so that's drawing hard and we're ahead of ourselves because we had more water than we need in there so we're leaking so let's turn that down so it can catch up to us a little bit i'm excited guys if this works okay it's about there so let's fill this up we want to keep up with it i think it's right that's drawing so good i felt like it's gonna suck my hand away and it's going so fast it's gonna have a really hard time freezing i hope
about how that turned out. Happy to be coming inside now, checking up on everybody. Oh man, it's a party in here by the wood stove. Grandma's here. Oh, Lily, you got the blanket on. Yeah? Hey, where are you boys going? Oh, you got, oh, let's see your progress on this Lego. Hey, you gotta you gotta work in here and shut the door so Mr. Brown can't get in here, huh? Yeah. Okay, show me. Show me what's up, Josiah. Let's do Josiah first. Hey Lily, you gotta shut that door so Mr. Brown doesn't get in here. I know. This, this, and this and that. Those are very nice. Good job. In one bag. Cool. And what are you working on? I built this and this part. So do you like the building part or the playing part better? I haven't gotten this set, so I think I'm gonna like the playing part. Okay. Me too. You playing too, Lily? Will they let you play? Yeah. That's kind of them. Okay, you guys have fun. Hey, honey. Yeah. You're never gonna believe this. What? I think I know why that water where it wasn't draining. Why? When I hooked the hose up to it to uh -huh. fill it up, uh -huh. gobs of dirt came going through there. Gobs. Oh, really? So I'm thinking it got clogged up over time, and that's why it wasn't draining. Hi, honey. But I'm happy I did this because. Oh. No, I know. And we can clear it out with a hose if we have to. Yeah. And we got a lot of suction. It's working. What you working on? Um, well, um, Grandma and Big Daddy are going to Ikea today. And I decided that I didn't like the fridge that I bought at Ikea, so we are having, we're returning it. And they're doing that, and then they're going to buy me a sink there. Sweet. So. Ikea run. Ikea run, Big Daddy Grandma. It was a little deep, don't you think, that, that a, fridge? Yeah, yeah. I just didn't, like, like once we got the yeah. space, the cabinets and stuff, I just decided I didn't like, it just didn't work. I think that's part of it. Hey, Big Daddy, what do they say? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be construction without problems? This, a wise man once told me that. Yeah. This guy. That's all it is. When I used to work that's with him in construction. It is problems. That but is. That's all it is. That's right. <laughs> How are the Legos coming, guys? Good. Look. What? Are you done? Yeah. Look, all of them. Nice. I put that part on there. I, 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 I built that all together. Cool. Um, I mean, I built that. By the way. Cool. And then I have the monster truck. And then the drill thing that I got. Very nice. Night. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm.